Gelatinous cubes are perfectly clear 10-foot cubes, though books will often tint their slime so the picture isn't boring. Their acid can't dissolve much more than flesh, so if you're lucky you'll see a few bits of bone floating around, but otherwise they're nearly invisible. That makes them a common cause for new adventurer death. If you aren't actively looking, it's easy to just walk right into one. This is yet another reason to keep an eye on the walls and floors of a dungeon. If they're spotless, there's probably a cube scooting around. That's actually part of why they're so common. Sentient creatures will keep them around as defense and cleaning staff. Some people have tried to make them 15 feet to get the ceilings better, and the Mad Mage once got one to 30 feet. The 10 foot ones are already 50,000 pounds, so it's a good thing they aren't sentient anymore or they would be a nightmare. They usually aren't at least. The Lord of Slime ripped it out of them, but he gives it back on occasion. He's fickle like that. Speaking of which, if you see more than a couple of these and notice eye imagery, run. The god of the cubes is the oldest of them all, one even Loth dares not command, for he was old when the god of gods was born. The Elder Eye, that which lurks, is the one who answers when you pray to Jubilex or the Elder Elemental God. The biggest lesson to take from these things is that the challenge of a simple monster often comes from those using it. By itself, it'll just run at things that move within 60 feet, honing in on body heat and avoiding fire. Their stats other than constitution are some of the worst of their CR, so as long as you saw it first, you can just outrun it and pelt it with spells and arrows. The issue is that these things are commonly kept in pits, or dropped from the ceiling, or just meant to distract you from the other traps. The cube doesn't have an answer to ranged attacks, but its captors might count on you knowing that. That dirty area in the corner means the cube can't go there, but why not? Something immune to acid can just walk right through them, so some monsters can get mean with these things. Remember, the environment in a dungeon is just as big of an enemy as any monster, and the cube is just as big a part of that as the dark traps. Well, that's all for today's lesson. Let me know if you liked it, and hit that button for more courses. Class dismissed.